Hello everybody, this is just a short video on using the PMOD HYGRO I2C temperature and humidity sensor and for this I'll be using the BeagleBone Black so looking at the code, uh, everything's on GitHub as well as my blog um, which you can find at this link uh, or jscblog.com uh, uh, or find uh, my GitHub by searching in my name, Jersey Blog. Uh, so we've got standard libraries uh, used for interfacing with uh, the I2C and you know reading and writing to the uh, file path, which is given here. The slave address is uh, hex forty, and I mentioned in the last video uh, DS three two three one, which is an RTC module that you can communicate. Uh, with the I2C devices via the command line and there's a good website uh, link and this is just on beaglebone.kmon.net uh, or you can just google beaglebone black I2C and it basically talks about how you can use the I2C uh, via the command line so for example if I go into my terminal here which I've already connected to the BeagleBone Black. If I type in I2C detect dash R dash two, so the reason why sorry, dash R two, the reason why um, I'm using two is because that's where my I2C module is. So if I press enter, uh, you can just press Y and then here it's found my I2C module on hex forty. So that's one way you can do it. Uh, so moving on from here, uh, I've got initialize function, uh, I've got a two element buffer, I open the file, connect to the slave address, each of these uh, if statements basically checks if there's any, uh, if I don't get the right return value it will uh, print off the error. Um, for this one, uh, configure the configuration register, so on the PMOD uh, it's got very good documentation saying to configure the configuration register which is at hex uh, 02 and even though the reset register is set to zero uh, I found that if I didn't run this function uh, I get some errors so even though I'm writing all zeros again uh, it does start working so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, and then we check that we sent everything, we close the file and return. This is the initialize function. And then we've got two functions, one is to get temperature and one is to get humidity. So if I actually look at the main first, uh, I run the initializing code, which I just spoke about. I wait for, you know, one micro, uh, sorry, one uh, millisecond, um, just, you know, uh, for a little bit of delay, if you put this in a while loop or actually use this in a real application then this may be insignificant um, and then we run two functions to get the temperature and get the humidity so if I look at the get temperature function it's very similar to the initialize, we open up the file connect to the slave uh, we set the pointer register to the temperature address and basically what this means is uh, if we want to read from a register what we can do is we can write to it write to where the register is and but we don't you know proceed to actually write to it we just set the pointer to say look look at this address and then after that we can then read from that register now there's also a uh, 7000 microsecond delay or seven milliseconds and in the data sheet it says to use 6.5 milliseconds but I found that and I was looking through forums that one of the reasons why I had some of the problems is because I need to actually increase it this is why it's 7,000 as opposed to 6,500 um, and then we read from the, the uh, temperature address we save it into this read write buffer check check any if there's any errors, close the file and another problem I was getting that on the data sheet it gives a formula to get the temperature or the humidity but I found that it wasn't working 
so uh, if I actually go onto uh, and get this temperature uh, and humidity data sheet so if I go into this so it's a digital P mod and then I go and I click on the uh, HDC 1080 so it's, it's good documentation so maybe I just misunderstood uh, everything I had to do so if I just scroll a past it So here you can see the configuration, how to configure it. And this is the exact same steps I went through. Um, and we can see here, we've got this formula to work out the temperature. And we use the temperature 15 down to zero. Uh, but keep in mind that it's a 40, I set the value to a 14 bit resolution uh, so even, even though the uh, register is 16 bits wide, it's a 14 bit value, meaning the two least significant bits are zero as it says. So when I typed uh, out this formula, I found out that it just wasn't working. And even if you kind of look at it and evaluate it, if what you read is zero, uh, zero divided by anything, let's just assume it's zero, times by 165, you'd get zero, minus 40, uh, you get minus 40 and that was the value I was reading uh, until I changed it and even with the humidity uh, it was something very similar but if we look here it says 15 down to 2 as we already know temperature measurement only uh, temperature measurement read only so what I done in the code is I shifted two bits to the right hand side to basically get rid of the zeros and then that's how it started to work so Maybe I just un misunderstood it in the data sheet, but it seems like this is getting the right value. And it's exactly the same thing with the humidity sensor, uh, shifting two bits to the right, then I print off the value. So that's pretty much uh, everything, um, minus the two uh, small problems I had in terms of with the sleep uh, on the data sheet. As I said, it does recommend, so if we kind of scroll back up, it does recommend wait for the measurement to complete based on the conversion time. So if we click onto this, down here, temperature sensor and humidity, 14 bit resolution. So this is for the conversion time, 6.5 and 6.35. So this is what I was talking about at the start of the video. It just wasn't working. So somewhere in the forum, it mentioned to increase uh, the delay and you know, it started to work. I did, I did compare the temperature measurements to the DS3231 and I found that this one is slightly off. So if I actually run the code, uh, so ls change directory because it's in here, and we can see it there as pmod, temperature is 24 and humidity is 38. If I breathe over the uh, sensor, you'll see the values go up. 25 and 53 so reading that if I actually connect the old uh, DS3231 uh, sensor even though I know it's I2C and it can be connected on the same bus I'm still just manually moving the, moving the wires so now I've connected the DS3231 sensor so if I run that code 24.75 so it's actually a, well in fact it's slightly off because this was reading 24 and then 25 after I breathed on it and the DS was reading 24.75 but this has you know the floating point parts at the end so uh, maybe it gives a bit more you know slightly a bit more accuracy in terms of when you're reading devices but I do know at the start in this in the morning time that the DS sensor was reading about two degrees higher than the HYGRO sensor. But that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, everything's on my GitHub and on my website. So thank you for watching.